fun way of communicating that Superman's death was felt around the world by literally having his death scream spread around the world and wake up all the mother boxes. This extended Batman and a horse stuff is making me really want some live action Elseworlds movies. I know there's an animated version of Gotham by Gaslight and Arrow did that crossover event, but if DC is gonna go in the direction of having multiple versions of heroes, I want a Batman who rides a horse and has to poop in a bucket. Hey, so this score is way more epic than last time. Evil fjernes, I don't do it. Ha, you don't know Brucey, baby. He had to climb mountains and then fight Liam Neeson's. The Aquaman. What is it about putting the in front of superhero names that makes them sound more real? Strong man as strong as alone. You ever heard that? You ever hear of Superman? He died fighting next to me. You ever heard that? That's not a saying. That's the opposite of what the saying is. It doesn't mean I'm wrong. You ever hear of Superman? He died fighting next to me. My point exactly. Wow, the Whedon lines start popping out at you, huh? I'll admit it's it's funny, but you can now see that that's not the tone Snyder was going for here at all. It's now also obvious that it was a pickup, and that the way the script was initially written flows way better. Bruce ignored Arthur's you ever heard joke and tried to cut deep with a you ever hear that guy that died? My point exactly. Plus, it's gotta be an ego boost to have women burst into a sorrowful Bjork-sounding acapella jam whenever you leave. No shade here, this is a great sweater. Honestly, this whole village is crushing the sweater game. Maybe a man who broods in a cave for a living isn't cut out to be a recruiter. Classic Alfred kicking him when he's down. There he is, the man, the myth, the Snyder. Companion. Nick Cave is always a win. And while the lyrics of Distant Sky seem to connect to Lois and the death of Superman with lyrics like they told us our gods would outlive us, but they lied, the choice of using Cave at all is a real gut punch as both Snyder and Cave have lost children. I like the amount of time Snyder gives to this moment. I also understand why Whedon cut it down to a montage. The same exact information is conveyed in a fraction of the time, but it's hard to argue that more time given to things doesn't make them better. And this feels like a good time to say I'm not gonna rehash wins from Whedon's Justice League like this little trick to kill the guard, otherwise we'll be here all year. I said we aren't doing that. But see, I get to win this because it's a much better use of Wonder Woman's theme while she's actually fighting. Well, he did. But honestly, if you're gonna kill kids, you get your head smushed. Those are the rules. I don't make them. I just live by them. And now full auto on kids? You gotta die. It's rules, bro. I love that they embrace how goofy this looks. She's got a crouch to cover everyone, and saving lives doesn't always look cool. Know what I mean? Yeah, he did. Evil does not sleep. Not even naps? Wow, that is evil. How absolutely dare you, superhero land? But also I'd like to point out that the original design of Steppenwolf from BBS was way closer to Snyder's vision here. Daughters of Themyscira, show him your fear! We have no fear! Badass good Amazons. Something I just realized this time, the hammer wielders are on the sealed side of the gate, which might seem like a dumb oversight until you realize that three sets have to be destroyed. So if the first Amazons were on the escape side, the next would have to wait for them to get through and it could delay the cage being sealed. So it's never even an option. Everyone is staying inside. Also, this whole bit makes their sacrifice even more evident and Steppenwolf's escape more impressive. Rapid fire arrows. Steppenwolf sucks, but then he starts throwing horses. I, what's the problem with horses, Steppy? Weird flex, but okay. Nah, it's, it's an awesome flex. Well, that yellow soul, even her body light is a new thing. The melancholy melody mixed with the pumping action rhythm in this score is giving us a hint that perhaps this isn't gonna end well. It's much more tragic this time around. Pump them. Steppenwolf swatted it in Justice League and catching it seems more respectful. He even tries to appeal to Hippolyta's reason here for a sec. Oh, noble queen. Why do you fight? You can't save her. You can't save any of them. He knows what's coming and there's no use in wasting any more energy now that he has the box. He's a very pragmatic world-destroying minion of Darkseid. It just goes to show you can have the most memeable armor ever that will be mocked ceaselessly, but if you make a good movie and put the armor on a relatively compelling villain, no one will care. He will be pleased. He will see my worth again. And by he, you mean your nephew? That's right, Steppenwolf is Darkseid's uncle. Kind of makes his whole vibe a bit creepier and definitely more needy. No, Beard Fleck. I mean, whatever, Batman's got a Batman. If I had a dollar for every possibly... Yeah, make you even more insufferable. Okay, every actor who's played Alfred has done their own unique take with the role. I'm stoked to see what Andy Serkis brings. But Jeremy Irons' Alfred just continually rips into Bruce, and I love every minute of it. 
parademons get a way more frightening and imposing presence with these close-ups. The Superman ship. Hey, hey, the anomaly from the Man of Steel score to make your brain go to the right place. In heels? Well done, Diana, well done. Definitely getting some metal album cover vibes, like Greek black metal? There is a king. The white stripes are cool, but these lyrics are kinda hitting home. Plus it's off Cave's album, The Boatman's Call, so... I'm just never gonna complain about Paul Smecker showing up. Willem Dafoe is always a win. He's trying to fan the flames of war with the surface. He lies. Look at that, even setting up Aquaman. Decide, I fall before you. The whole appearing in stone works? Makes Desaad a little scarier, which was still confusing because it sounds like Steppy's just pronouncing Darkseid kind of weird. No protectors here. No lanterns. No Kryptonium. Yeah, but they've got the rich guy who dresses up like a flying rodent, so look out! You got your money's worth. Took me almost a minute to disable it. Hi there. There is a vibe. This is Genuine vibe. If you're lucky, you may get to inhabit some unwilling stranger's body in a few decades. Look, he's an evil world devouring demigod, but the jump was baller. And what are these creepy guys' stories? Tell me more about the magic triplets. Oh, not uplets. I know they're working on a Green Lantern movie, but can we get a historical Yellen Gurr movie? Oh, I guess we're not gonna get a Yellen Gurr movie. But a Dark Side with a Lantern Ring movie could be cool. The defenders of Earth attacked and fought as one. Massive teamwork. So this makes Diana way better badass than we realized, correct? If Ares is landing the deciding blow on Darkseid and she beat him later? Did I mention all of the old god's workout routines? Serge Constance and Aurora Lazaral? Look at her obliques! They did what no world had ever done. Sent the enemies back into the stars. And they didn't even need a rousing speech from President Bill Pullman to win! The Atlanteans had an octopus make a special box and then they put it on a pedestal. The Amazons used some kind of light ray and then put it on a pedestal. Leave it to the humans to just toss it in a hole in the ground in the woods. <laughs> not really. Maybe he can hear her heart beat loud? Eh? Eh? It's not my fault no one saw it. Let this be a lesson to you, vibing can be dangerous. I vibed with someone once and we have two kids now. Too bad that car is a classic. I like the realism of her being thrown from it though. Classic rarely means safest or safe or not metal death box. Ooh, I like that. His shoes cannot keep up. I know the Quicksilver comparisons are there, but honestly, I love this portrayal of Flash's power. That kind of speed would decimate everything around it. Just ask A-Train or Pewee's girlfriend Robin. Oh, wait. Eh, maybe don't do that. Cool save, though. Snack hole strikes again. We, oh, wait, we haven't gotten there yet. Ha, love the sound editing here. The last note of the song is the car hits the pavement. When Diana is snapping one of them in half, it's easy to think of the parademons as putty patrollers or foot clanners, but the Atlanteans are no slouches. So it says something here that the parademons are dragging them along like toddlers. Not that you should drag your, don't drag your toddlers. I'll never be nope. He said he'll fight with us? More or less. More, more or more or less? Probably more or less. He said no. He said no. We took a long journey to accepting and understanding consent, but hey, we got there, didn't we, Brucey? You're gonna need to be open to more things than we have. These two. He's a cyborg. He's the cyborg. See, the wins the day. Robot eyes, machine hearts can't lose. It's important to be there for your kids. It's also important to make sure they know that American football is at best a questionable sport, regardless of how many dope slow-mo shots you get out of it. In the world of ones and zeros, you are the absolute master. We're all at your mercy, Vic. So, you know, please be a good guy. The fate of the world will literally rest in your hands. MBD. Don't worry, it's actually way worse. At lots of pharmacies, you can't even grab formula off the shelf. It's behind the counter under lock and key. Based cyborg, that's like real generosity. Easier when the stock market just looks like stacks on stacks on stacks. Yeah, I do competitive ice dancing. It's what they use on the space shuttle. I do very competitive ice dancing. He's such a little brat and I love every moment of it. Have we talked about how awesome and brutal Batflex Batarangs are? Because they are. So I'm just a black hole of snacks. I am a snack hole. Perfect backup name in case he gets sick of being called the Flash. See, there, it's, that's where it is. What are your superpowers again? I'm rich. Man, I think that's the first time we've ever heard Batman be honest about himself. Honesty. Put the water in first. Of course. <laughs> so we don't scald the tea. No, that's probably enough tea. You sure you don't want to have some? I won't, thank you. And then. Leave it to mash. These little moments are one of the main things that elevate this movie. Just Alfred being fussy about tea and Diana playing along. I love when we get to take our time with characters. 
I can think of more valuable pieces to protect, but yeah, I guess the wrists need protecting. Even though Cyborg is possibly the most powerful member of the Justice League, he still uses mid-90s crash override aesthetics. You know who I am? I know more than you can possibly imagine. Then maybe you already know I need your help. The world does. The world. Huh. So Cyborg is a juggalo. Also, another change from Justice, Cyborg is pissed in this movie, which, yeah, he, he would be. Love the way his robot lights reflect off surfaces, like the flower paper in the plastic bag. Dude, I just called you the most powerful member, and you're clearly the smartest, but you need to stop burying this thing in the ground. It's not working. Although it is humanity continuity, I suppose. The inner core of the matter becomes superheated. Hot, dense matter. Hot, dense matter. Also, sacrifice shadowing. I'll talk to him tonight. How, oh, Jim? How do you think? Emojis? Eh, kinda. You must be Barry. I'm Diana. Hi, Barry. I'm Diana. That's not right. <laughs> Appropriate reaction to meaning Gal Gadot. All that crap floating in the water, how do you keep it out of your mouth? End up eating a lot of extra whale carcass. Hey, yo, he got me. Yo, that's brutal. Saving that pretty lady you kinda hate. Honestly, love that Steppenwolf is wearing all that spiky nanotech, knifotech armor? And Aquaman is just a dude in jeans. Also, Jason Momoa's workout routine. Parademons. Okay. I know he's often the comedy relief, but I appreciate Barry's disbelief with a lot of this. Yeah, there are scary aliens, but they're called parademons? Why? Who called them that? Did they speak English? Because their name is in English. Which seems like a pretty big coincidence. Nine. <laughs> Barry genuinely startled. Wow, okay, so another scientist. Unfazed Jim Gordon. J.K. Simmons is always a win. Even jumping three feet out of a thing, they look cool. I definitely would have messed up my ankle there. My knee. Or actually, probably my back. <laughs> the metal. There's something hilarious and humanizing about seeing superheroes have to just walk up a bunch of steps like the rest of us losers. We do this together. So Zack entirely rewrote this scene. Barry isn't timid, he's first across. <laughs> Whoa, dude's got a venom arm. Amazon, but not like your sisters. Stronger. I like that Steffi realizes right away that Diana is different. Yep. I'm not sure I can explain it, but that's such a Batman move. Arkham, maybe? Ha, so not totally different. He does just run and push people. This way. Although he's way less helpful overall, which makes sense with the impatient fast dude. Yeah, buddy. Well, that's just plain sick, especially the camera continuing to spin around the group. Get back to the tunnel. Tunnel, right. Aliens, bad guy, sword lady. Missed opportunity at a solid subtitle for this film. Justice League, Aliens, bad guy, sword lady. Boop. I kind of love that the gauntlets just never fail until you know, that one time. Bennett sells his power. You were okay. <laughs> Wasn't sure you'd come. You're my father. Oof, got me. Say what you will about that grappling hook because man, it is like bringing a grappling hook to a metahuman fight, but it has its uses. Relax, Alfred. I'll take it from here. Ooh, sassy Alfred is not gonna like that. Uh, d do I know you? So Steffi's suit seems to be, like, alive? It covers more of his face when it senses danger and then retracts when it knows he's safe? Spikes even come out when he lands surrounded by Amazons. Just right through it like it was cheese. Sassy Alfred is gonna be peeved. Is this the new lens flare? The Nightcrawler climbing shook the camera out of frame. This is the construct. You know, this universe has some dope FaceTime. All those nanobot things from Man of Steel and now Stone Transfiguration. The anti-life equation is carved into the surface of this very world. It's called Applebee's and it's everywhere. <laughs> the helmet is much more form-fitting than I expected. I have turned 100,000 worlds to dust looking for anti-life. I mean, next time drop a pin, but also, I guess when you're conquering is in the hundreds of thousands, your decimating spreadsheet can get unmanageable. He wants to fly. You talk to machines? Yeah, okay, sure, fish boy. No, you're trying to say something. How do we know you're not working for them? Guy who just showed up and is immediately questioning other people's motives is not a great look, Namor. It's a long story. You got somewhere else to be. The Nazis found the box. At the end of the Second World War. Yeah, it's always the Nazis, isn't it? Particles of house become particles of smoke. Anybody with a match can turn a house to smoke. Put them on the box. Turn a smoke back into a house. So they all just understand science? All of them? That doesn't seem fair. They can't all be cool, powerful dimes and geniuses. That's not... It's just not fair. 
Who's gonna say it? I'm not gonna say it. Dang it, I love his theme kicking in before anyone says it. It's like the auditory version of what Barry says. This is such a Snyder version of that bright lit conversation in the office from Justice. Also, it's it's better. It's way better. Even if we lose the thirsty bit. You were the thirstiest young woman he ever met. You'll never love anybody the way that I love your son. And I just miss him. I miss him so much. Come back to the living. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, just like Clark will do. Oh, what the crap? This guy, Martian Manhunter playing tricks? Well, 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 that explains why Commander Locke was always going against the Bowery King. He was a scroll all along. Victor's father activated a mother box more than a year ago when Superman was still alive. Didn't call out to Steppenwolf. None of the boxes did, not until... Not until Superman died. They were afraid of him. They really sell the need for soups in this one way better. Honestly, a perfect ending to disc one. And also sets up the stakes of what using the mother box to bring soups back are. The box isn't active yet. When they bring him back, Steppy gonna come for it. So those are the first four parts, and next week we will do the last, what is it, four, three or four more parts? So I'll see you next week.